it's time for you to learn how to take off and fly to the downwind position for landing when you are busy with circuit training so we're going to start off by just quickly introducing the circuit so currently we are on runway 070 at land syria currently we are 4,500 feet above sea level. Now our circuit altitude is always flown 1,000 feet above the elevation at controlled aerodrome. So controlled aerodrome just meaning that there is ATC available. So the plan for us today is to take off runway 07 after 300 feet at any airport, which is in this case would be 4,800 feet we are going to do what's called the after takeoff checks once you have reached a 500 feet above ground level then you can then either turn right or left for the circuit depending on which circuit is enforced at that particular airport but do not turn if you are haven't reached 500 feet above ground level yet also uh, what i want you to focus on is just the throttle control when we apply throttle basically from idle to full power we're going to do this in increments of a or interval of about three seconds so we're going to go one two three and then we should have full throttle at the same time we're going to apply a little bit of right rudder this is because the aircraft will tend to yaw to the left due to gyroscopic effect and also because the stabilizer or tail of the aircraft um, we are not yet at that speed where the um, aircraft wind or airflow pushes on the tail to keep the aircraft nose flying in a balanced straight um, direction so therefore we need to apply the right rudder so let's get started so when you've got gotten clearance to get onto the runway you will then as you taxi onto the runway you're gonna do what's called your what to do last checks the what simply means wind so you're gonna have a quick look at what the windsock is doing currently we can see the windsock is more or less calm and then what to the T standing for your oil temperatures and engine pressures just confirming it is in the green so we do not have to abort a takeoff what to do and then the D is for align our compass to DI which is 070 with the runway heading what to do last then last just means your landing light so for takeoff or when you start you'll switch on the beacon once you entered the runway you'll put on your nav and strobe and landing lights and then go on and switch your transponder to alt for altitude mode and then once you've got clearance you can go ahead and commence the takeoff so let's get started so first i'm just gonna hold the brakes uh, we're gonna release the power brake okay so here we go so applying throttle one two three adding a bit of a right rudder to keep on the center line air speeds alive oil and temperatures is in the green we're looking for roughly 55 knots then we'll start gently pulling back on the control column here's 55 we'll now gently raise the nose and fly away at 75 knots as well as maintaining a runway heading so we find a landmark that we can actually use in the distance or confirming we're flying 070 so now i'm just gonna take it the rate of climb a little bit less so i can just walk you through as what we are doing at this stage so now it's flying on a heading of 070 climbing away and if you struggle just keep the dashboard on the horizon it will put you perfectly 500 feet a minute rate of climb of 75 knots upon reaching our altitude of 300 feet above ground level you do your after takeoff checks which is brakes so you apply brakes to stop the wheels from turning causing drag so it's brakes under carriage is up and lock uh, power is still set it hasn't uh, reduced during the takeoff roll 
um, beaches set for climb as well as our Misha Thor set and then if we have a fuel pump, fuel pump will go off and flaps we retract if the flaps were out and then last landing and taxi lights go off we've passed also 500 feet so before we're turning right onto the crosswind we confirm left over the dashboard clear to the right and it's safe to commence the turn and climb to 5500 feet so currently we're still climbing so it is a climbing turn we're going to maintain a rate one turn and how do i know where i need to turn onto for the crosswind simple runway heading was 070 so we know if the 070 becomes or gets to 90 degrees which in this case about um, 160 almost then we can just basically fly the crosswind so we're just waiting for that 070 and then we rolling out on 160 so we're still now climbing the aircraft waiting for 5500 now we'll go ahead lower nose and come back to 2300 rpm for the cruise and always trim the aircraft i'm gonna go ahead and pause here for one minute as i want to show you if you do not have a directional indicator or just a little bit more knowledge on when to turn onto the downwind so currently we've now turned onto the crosswind if you look at the runway threshold in the distance if the runway is between your tail tail section and the main wings then at a 45 degree angle then you know you are good to turn onto what's called the downwind so let's go ahead and unpause and turn onto the downwind so now again with 126 and remember the reciprocal heading of 070 is 250 that we can turn onto to fly parallel to a runway so a little bit of back pressure and we can do a 30 degree turn or medium turn because we're not climbing the aircraft and we are rolling out on a heading of 250 and we're flying along at about 75 knots so I'll just go ahead and add a bit of power now there's 75 knots and we are also flying within the white arc before we commence our downwind checks so now I'll just confirm you are flying actually parallel with the runway and we'll wait until we halfway on the runway which is now called the mid downwind so basically if you are at the airport where the control tower is when you beam the tower then you can start with your downwind checks as well as give the control tower a call saying you are now right downwind for runway 07 and they will then clear you to land or stand by the landing so more or less at this position we are now mid downwind if you are on an early downwind this is more or less when people refer when you close to the threshold and then later downwind will be when we've basically passed the threshold of the beginning runway of 07 and that's it for taking your aircraft up from um, take off to the downwind position join me on the next lesson and then we'll see how we are going to do the downwind checks and land the aircraft See you for the next flight lesson.